so it's D-Day for that rooster of ours, and we're going to butcher him. It's going to be our first time ever butchering a chicken, so I'm going to show you how we do it. Also, um, since it's a boy and he's kind of little, we're not going to take all the meat off of him. We're just going to use the breast, so we're just going to skin him and pull the breasts off. But. He's getting hung upside down. He's kind of put a slit in his jugular vein and let him bleed into that bucket. There you go. Okay. Oh, I really severed that topic. <laughs> so he's bleeding out. There he is. Getting ready to chop his head off. Oh my god, look at him. It's like a funeral. Do you need something to chop the head off? You might. Yeah. Sure, she just does that. It's not flopping. I've learned that you can't saw the head off. You do actually have to chop it. Little biology lesson. Matt's found us the crop here where the chicken stores his grain. of some tasty breasts in there. Matt is at the bottom cutting out the innards. So gonna make sure that none of those juices get on our tasty breasts up there. And he's gonna make a hole around his uh, bottom. And then we'll pull all the intestines out. We got one little chicken tender. We got one to go. So Matt's pulling off of his pulling off the breasts now because that's what we're gonna keep. And then he's gonna practice taking the guts out. So when he does the ladies with their skin on later, he knows exactly how to do it. Matt successfully took out the innards. Yum. First chicken. I was just telling Matt about how I felt like, um, like the manager of the hitman. So like, I don't actually pull the trigger, but I tell people to pull the trigger. But I've never actually pulled the trigger myself. 